to know what's happening. And even just an assurance that, yes, we know who these kids are. Frustrated over the administration at Williamsville North High School, did they fail to take proper action after a bully teen committed suicide? Good evening, everyone. Students and parents say the school knows who the bullies are. It has been more than a week since freshman Jamie Rodemeyer took his own life. His story has touched many hearts and nerves, with people demanding the school do something about those who tormented him. News 4 investigative reporter Luke Moretti went straight to the superintendent today. He's live for you in Williamsville now. Luke? Yeah, look, there's no question about it. This is a tragedy, a horrible tragedy that has touched a lot of people, including parents of kids who attend the school district. We've been hearing from them on Facebook, uh, sending in emails, telephone calls, and so forth, saying they're frustrated with the information that's coming out of the school district with regard to how bullying is being handled. So we took those concerns right to the superintendent today. Dan Guestwick, like many other parents in the Williamsville School District, wants some answers. It's been almost two weeks, and we haven't heard about a punishment. In a message to parents, district officials put out a letter just recently stating that they are reviewing how bullying incidents are handled and that the response could include disciplinary consequences for those who bully as well as support for children who are the victims of bullying. But how does that help parents who want to know what the school district's doing? I mean, you're saying, yes, we're doing these things, but... What are you doing? They're asking, and you can't tell them? I mean, they have to be in the dark about what's going on with their children in this district? I can't tell them specifically the specific actions well, we're, we're taking with specific, specific saying, children. What have you done? Have you, have you suspended anybody? Have you ex expelled anybody? I, again, Period. again, in the interest of student confidentiality, I can't say that specifically. What I can tell you, in situations with where serious bullying takes place, we will respond with the strictest of consequences that we can. We will cooperate fully with the Amherst Police Department, and we will do everything we can to deter this type of behavior from taking place on our school grounds. That is what we're looking for. That is what we'd like. Or we're working on expulsion, or we've suspended the students. You can even be politically correct and say for their own safety. But let us know. What, what's the plan? Michelle Freed has a child at Williamsville North she believes this is a time for everyone to come together. And no one should blame the school, but we should all work together and working to educate all of our children better to tolerate all people. Now, Dan Guestwick, uh, who you saw in the piece uh, talking about the fact that he was looking for more answers, did get a call from the school superintendent late this afternoon. I did talk with Dan, and he said after having that conversation, he understands that by law, uh, they're limited in terms of the information that can be put out there, specific details, but does feel better having the conversation with the superintendent that at least they're acknowledging uh, that there is, you know, a problem and that they're dealing with it and uh, uh, obviously cooperating with the police department uh, in the process. I also called the Amherst Police Department today to touch base with them on their bullying investigation. Uh, they did say that they're continuing uh, to interview people, uh, but other than that, nothing new to report. We'll have